Hey, what's good guys? This is Armin here back with another video and today I have the Bose Soundlink Mini 2. So let's get started, shall we? Bose makes some phenomenal audio equipment and the Bose Soundlink Mini 2 is no exception. So currently at Amazon.in you can actually get it for around 18,000 rupees and at Amazon.com you can actually get it for 199 USD. Now coming on to the build quality, here the build quality is insane. The speaker has a unibody aluminum design and as you can see from the front and the back it has its speaker grills. Now of course at the front we have a Bose logo which as always looks great and sticks to the classics. Now also if we have a look at the side we can see that there is a micro USB port and guess what we have a trusty little headphone jack. Yeah. Now this not only means that you can actually use your auxiliary wire to manually connect to the speaker but also you can charge it with the help of the included charger that Bose offers. Now here's a surprise, there's actually another way of charging your speaker and this happens to be a fancy one. So Bose actually gives you this nice base where you can connect the micro USB cable and place your speaker on it. Now the way it works is that it uses hidden connectors which you can see on the base and below the Bose sound link. Now there's not wireless charging but I do appreciate that they have at least gone a step further. Now if we have a look at the top we'll actually find our controls. Again it says Bose sound link mini and some controls below it. So at the center we'll find our play pause button along with the volume up and down buttons. Now don't let the buttons fool you because you actually have to hold them to bring any change to the volume. Now the pairing process is pretty simple. So you first have to turn on the Bose sound link mini and then hold the bluetooth button until it turns blue. Then go to the bluetooth section in your phone and then you should be able to see the Bose sound link mini and then go ahead and pair your device to it. Now those who were familiar with the Bose Soundlink Mini 1, you will actually find zero noticeable changes in terms of looks. Believe me those who are not familiar with it, but it actually looks exactly the same as the Mini 1 did. Although all the changes have been made under the hood. So let's take a look at them. So Bose as always has implemented a surround technology, so no matter at what angle you are listening it at, the sound quality will remain the same. No matter how far you go, considering you're in a room, it will still sound the same. Now I tried to take it a bit far and actually kept it in a different room and surprise surprise, it still sounds great. Now you can find a bit of variations in sound quality but that is when you really get nitpicking. But don't let the small size factor fool you because it packs a serious punch. The speaker gets unusually loud which I never expected. It still feels like you are having two giant speakers up against your ears and firing them at their max volume. So this is one of my favorite features of the speaker and it also happens to be an improvement over the Mini 1. That is that the Mini 2 has an inbuilt microphone to receive phone calls. So whenever you get a phone call you can just press the play pause button to receive it. This I see as a very useful feature because you don't have to reach to your phone all the time. Again, another feature that I absolutely love about the Bose Soundlink Mini is that it actually has a voice. With this, it can actually tell you the battery percentage, battery 60%, what all devices it's connected to, connected to Harlaman's iPhone, and even the name of the person who's calling you. This feature is absolutely something that I love. Now let's talk about the battery life. So Bose says that you should be able to get 7 to 10 hours of continuous use and I really think that they are right because I'm not a heavy user and I occasionally use it. So it generally lasts me over a week. So long story short, above average price, yes. Solid build quality, yes. Awesome sound quality, yes. Worth the money, absolutely. 
I believe that the speaker delivers two great things. Awesome build quality with great and rich sound. I think this is what each and every consumer wants, making it absolutely worth it. This was Arman Dash and make sure to go both sound link on that like button and that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.